What you're going to see now are extracts from some of the most popular suffrage plays. There were over a hundred in all, written from 1907 to 1914 and produced by the Actresses Franchise League, amongst others. They weren't just about the vote, they were about issues that concerned suffragists. Unequal pay, working conditions, sexual violence against women and girls, and women's visibility in public space. There's a lot to chew on, and a lot to like. Enjoy. Oh, I'm so miserable. Quite bookable, girl. I wish I was dead. I wish I was dead and buried and cremated. Oh, pull yourself together, Marjorie. Now then, out with it. Let's know the worst. I'm to be had up. In police court. Had up? But what for? What's the charge? Assault and battery. Assault and battery? You? Yes, that's what they said. But who did you assault? Who did you batter? A, a suffragette. Heavens. Lots of people saw me. The policemen at the door saw me and there were dozens of suffragettes who saw me and they're all coming in as witnesses to the court and... Oh no! I'll be in the Daily Mail. Now then, Marjorie, I dare say something can be done. Now then, tell me all about it. How did it happen? Well, there was a lady sitting next to me at the anti-suffrage meeting. Yes. She was wearing a fawn coat and a rather smart black hat with daisies in it. But she was really a suffragette. Well, I didn't know. She looked just like anyone else. Some of us do. Go on. And at first she was quite quiet and I had no idea. But then when dear Lady Shiplake got up and began her speech about the, the proper sphere of influence for women, well, well, then she put her hand to her mouth like this and called out. Oh, what did she say? She said, Madam, why are you not at home? In a perfect roar. And that was when you... No, not then. I mean, I was disgusted with her, of course, but I was quite dignified. No, it wasn't until at the very last, at the end of all the speeches, the chairwoman got up and said she was putting the resolution to the meeting. And then there was the most awful row. All the suffragettes got up and stood on their seats and shouted. And she, the one next to me, was the worst of all. She had hidden her flag underneath her coat with votes for women on it and she got it out and she was waving it and well I got all excited you know what with all the noise and and the organist beginning to play God save the king you know to, to stop the questions and so I told her just to sit down well she took no notice of me and she carried on waving and, and, and making more noise and then I got more excited still and then I well I, I hit her hat over her eyes and I thumped her twice you did and she said she was charging me with assaulting her and that I was part of the militant section of the anti-suffragettes and, and that she didn't approve of their tactics and, and that it would do us good to be brought up into court and to be taken down a peg or two. And oh, it was dreadful. Now then, Marjorie, do you know her name? Who was she? Oh, that's the worst of it. Why? What do you mean? She's a very important person. Very. Who? Her name is... Lady Susan Pengarvan. Lady Susan? Yes. And you hit her? A lady of title? I didn't know. I, I just... <clears throat> Hello, Susie, that you? Susie? Yes, I've been hearing all about it. Yes, I heard about that too. What? Oh, put a piece of beefsteak on. That'll take down the swelling. Now, shut up and listen to me. You've got to withdraw this charge. N no, I haven't gone quite mad. No, I've not joined the antis. But the girl who gave you your black eye is my cousin. You've got to let her off. Yes, I know it's asking a lot. Yes, I know it would have been an awful lark and I'm awfully sorry to disappoint you. Yes, I know, of course, she's an idiot. But what do you expect from an auntie? What's that? Good old girl. Yes. Tomorrow at one. All right. Goodbye. Cheer up, Marjorie. No Holloway Castle for you this time. Lady Susie withdraws her charge. Oh no, I don't know how to thank you. Oh, I should chuck this anti-suffrage league lark if I were you. It's too strenuous altogether. <laughs> 